In this video, we're going to learn how to get an object to create another object at a set time. Now, you could use this, for instance, in a Space Invader game, where you wanted your player object to fire bullets up at a set interval, which makes it a little bit more challenging than the user being able to set it off with a space bar, for instance. Or you might want to use it so that an enemy creates bombs that it drops down on you. There's all sorts of uses for this. So the first thing we're going to do in the player object is when it is created, I'm going to set an alarm. So there's my alarm. I'm just going to set it for a second in this case. Uh, so 30 steps, it's going to set off alarm zero. Now, for my event, when alarm zero goes off, that's when I'm going to put in the create object. So here we go. So I'm going to create an object, which is bullet object. I'm going to use relative, so it comes from the same position as my player. I'm actually going to set my Y to a little bit lower, because I want it to kind of come out of the top of my object. I'm going to set my speed, and because I want it to go straight up, I'm going to set it to 90 degrees. Now, I think, ah no, this won't quite work. So, this will set the alarm, it will, when the alarm goes off, it will set it, it will send the bullet, but it will only create one. So what we also need to do is set the alarm again. So alarm 0 to 30, so that every time the alarm set, I shoot a bullet, and then I set the alarm again. Shoot the bullet, set the alarm again. So let's have a look at what this looks like in practice. There we go. One, two. So you've got a nice way of throttling your bullets there, perhaps adding an extra little bit of challenge, and you can use it for um, players and for enemies. Mm -hmm.